setting up the brother Bobby's. Amy's going over to her dad's. She goes over and cleans his house. Go over Bobby's and then when Amy gets done, she'll come back and go get some lunch. Start hitting the house. She's been looking at places. Found a pretty cool place down in Festus. It's a few acres of land. The house was built in 1933, which means it's probably built better. But the whole thing has been rehabbed. And, um, thinking too about. now after the kids she's talking to her sister and her sister said you know now you guys look for yourselves keep your feet up do things for yourselves there's some tree houses you can rent down by lake of the ozarks down by branson just think about maybe going down there for a weekend renting like little treehouse hotel things you can rent down there. That'd be cool. I'll bring my Tarzan outfit. She can be Jane. Oh, 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 oh. There's Jane. Oh, looking all beautiful and shit. But yeah, so trying to work through the empty nest thing. Bobby, we'll get some lunch. We gotta be back at six. Our son Seth's gonna come by. I was thinking on the way over, I have a real good friend of mine I grew up with. One time I called him brother, but he's uh, morally just totally lost himself. shows you what drugs will do to people when they get really strung out. Fucking, he got his nephew and his niece addicted to the shit. Talking hair around. And uh, his nephew's in the ground now. I know the whole family on both sides. Nephew's dad's a good, hard working dude. He married my brother's sister. But, you know, there's talk that he might have been there when his nephew was overdosing. Uh, I don't know. I can't say. I, I could say where he is morally, I wouldn't put that past him. That's why I cut them out of my life. You start ripping the family off and fucking your brothers over. And, you know, that, that, that dope, it just fucks your loyalty up. You can't, anybody's on the shit, you can't trust them. Their loyalties to the dope. And I'd been by and, you know, talked to nephews, family, went by and dropped a buddy off over there a couple, well, about a month ago, and uh, I said, oh, so-and-so's downstairs. Well, you know, Tom will keep his ass down there. I don't even want to see his fucking face, but the point is, is that's their nephew that he got addicted, introduced to it. Might have been there when he fucking overdosed and letting him back in the house. I mean, and I don't know. Uh, drugs would just really fuck any kind of loyalty up. 
and take your morals. You know, you think somebody wouldn't want to be associated with somebody like that, knowing they're on dope and everything, but I guess misery loves company, but got me thinking, you know. I'm glad I'm not strung out on nothing, or I have to have something. A slave like that no more. Man, Andy could forget about a lot of the stuff, but, you know, getting another house and going down and renting out a tree house and thing for the weekend out in the woods and jungle love. <laughs> <laughs> Jungle love. But yeah, I'm almost to Bobby's here, but yeah, we're just trying to work through the shit. Keep doing it hard, like Mitch says. But nothing but respect to all of you. Peace out.